And this was a remarkable development today. Thousands of women protesting in the streets of Sana'a, uh, many of them burning face veils and, uh, and head scarves as a symbolic act. Uh, this was twofold, the message of this. One was uh, escalating their campaign and trying to get the attention of the international community to try to step in and help with the political impasse and the violence that's been rocking Yemen. Uh, the second, uh, burning of any item of clothing by women in Yemen is an ancient Bedouin tradition. Uh, it's done at a time, uh, it's done only to try to get the help of tribes. Now, it's not done a lot. It's been written about a lot in the past. This is the first time that anything like this has happened during the nine-month-long uprising that we've seen since February. The women that were out in the streets today told us that they were doing this to not just call on the tribes to help them and to protect them as they're marching through the streets, protect the women and the children, but also condemning tribes in Yemen for their silence against Saleh and what they call the brutal crackdown that the anti-government demonstrators have been experiencing there for months. Jonathan? Now, the winner, one of the winners of this year's Nobel Peace Prize is a Yemeni feminist. I gather she wasn't even at this demonstration, but you have to wonder if there is uh, some kind of influence that's being felt among women in Yemen because of the recognition that she has given their cause. Well, Jonathan, ever since Tawakkul Karman became the first Arab woman to become a Nobel laureate a few weeks back, more and more women have been hitting the streets uh, in various cities of Yemen, calling for the expansion of women's rights, uh, calling for the ouster of President Saleh. They've really been emboldened. We've seen women come out in the past, but not to this degree, not in these numbers. It's really increased since Tawakkul Karman won the Nobel Peace Prize. The interesting thing about today is that the women who staged this event, they were under a lot of pressure not to do so. Several weeks ago, they tried tried to do this. It didn't happen. They came under pressure, not just from government uh, officials, but also from activists who were telling them this wasn't the way to go. This would actually earn the enmity of tribes in such a conservative culture. They wouldn't want to see women burning something that is so symbolic in Islamic culture, in such a deeply conservative culture as it is in Yemen. So they were coming under intense scrutiny not to do this. Today they pulled it off. We've yet to see what the repercussions will be, but the women that were out in the street today clearly emboldened and encouraged and say they're going to continue their defiance and continue to march and continue to stage these kinds of rallies in the days and months to come.